patient has underwent a contrast guided PCA recently and that has happened one week ago and now coming with some form of AKI. So creatinine is elevated. Now it's two milligrams per deciliter. So definitely it's an AKI in the context. And patient is also having oliguria and patient is having a rash as shown. So what is that rash? This is what we refer to as a libido reticularis rash or simply a libido rash where you're going to see a lazy appearance, a lazy kind of a rash, a lazy picture, right? So in this context, I'm going to make a diagnosis of atherombolic disease because atherombolic disease is the one that's going to present in a symptomatic fashion. It's going to have a late AKI after day four to day seven that aligns with our diagnosis in this case. So it has a procedure like one week ago, a catheterization that would have ruptured some atherosclerotic plaques on the way that would have produced a cholesterol emboli resulting in atherombolic disease. And patients might be having like symptoms like amaurosis fugates, blue colored cyanotic toes with intact pulse and lazy rash called as libido reticularis rash. And of course, they will have low C3 as well if you test for it. And biopsy will show that crescent thick or needle-like uh, empty spaces, lacrimal spaces inside the arterioles and inside the small to medium vessels. So that's typical atherombolic disease. Treatment is supportive and you can use high dose statins. It's not contrast news AK because that's the most closest DD in this case because he has underwent a contrast guided PCI. So why I'm ruling out that? Because it's going to be asymptomatic. Patient will be non-oliguric generally and C3 will be normal. Along with that, it's going to occur very, very early, like in the first 24 to 48 hours itself. But this case developed an AKI like almost a week later. So I'm not going to diagnose contrast-induced AKI. And again, other things are not going to fit into the picture at all. The right answer for this question is option B.